And here we are for lesson 31 in grammar. All right, so we've been talking about uh, prepositional phrases. Um, we were talking about direct objects. Okay, today we're going to talk about another object, but it's an object of the preposition. Okay, right up here is your um, little definitions. Tells what things do: noun, adjective, pronoun, verb, conjunction. Uh, coordinating conjunction joins similar or equal words. Okay, a phrase is a group of words, preposition. Okay, so these are just things you might want to know. You can jot those down on a piece of paper or something if you want to, or highlight them, or whatever you want to do. Cut them out and put them on the ceiling so you see them first thing in the morning and you dream about prepositions. I don't care. Okay, here's a list of prepositions, one we had yesterday. Again, you don't have to have them memorized, but there you go. Okay, so a brook sluggishly flows through dark draperies hung upon the tunnel wound in two remember these are prepositions these show the uh, re the uh, relationships between the subjects and something else in the sentence okay now a prepositional phrase begins with a preposition and it ends with a noun or pronoun that noun or pronoun is the object of the preposition. So right here, a brook sluggishly flows through low ground. Okay, this right here, through low ground, is the prepositional phrase. Starts with a preposition, ends with a noun or a pronoun. Okay, upon the walls, prepositional phrase. Into the green hill, prepositional phrase. You'll learn how to find these just like nothing. All right, let's look here. Put your hand beneath your workbook, okay? Can you find the preposition in this sentence? Beneath your workbook, your prepositional phrase is this. Calvin ran across the floor. Across the floor, across is your preposition. I begged to pie for my mother. Four is your preposition. For my mother is a prepositional phrase. Okay? All right. On 31A, you are going to complete the sentence by giving it an object of the preposition. Okay? You're going to complete the prepositional phrase. Underneath his, across, above the, between the, and down the, into the woods after, okay, those are the prepositional phrases, and you are going to put in any word that you, it has to be a noun or a pronoun, that would complete those prepositional phrases. Now, before you do that, let's move on. You can come back to that, because there, these are going to be whatever words you want to put there. Now, this is identifying prepositional phrases. Can you find all 10 of the prepositional phrases in the following excerpt from Arthur Conan Doyle's The Hound of Baskervilles? Underline the complete prepositional phrases, circle the prepositions, label each object of the preposition with OP. And a gig is a small horse-drawn carriage. Okay, I'll help you find the first one. I can well remember driving to his house in the evening some three weeks before the fatal event. You see one in that sentence? Okay, circle the preposition, label the OP or the object of the preposition. That's the first one, so you need to find nine more. Okay, look back, make sure you finish this too. Make, but you can look back up here at your prepositions if you're not sure. Okay, now on 31C, it says remembering prepositions. Can you remember all 46 prepositions without looking back? You don't have to do that. But what I want you to do is, before you're done today, they've got this ABC order here all the way down. If you can, without looking back, just write down some that you think. I do not even care if you finish this page. It's not that necessary. You just need to be able to become familiar with being able to identify 
prepositions. So you don't have to fill that page out if you want to be my guest, but just more than anything, become familiar with these, okay? All right, so if you need any help with today's assignment, I'm not grading it or anything like that, let me know. But finding those prepositional phrases is utmost important. And that is all for today.